Hey guys, this is Pova, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Magisk to Lineage OS 14.1. The first thing I recommend doing is making a uh, backup of your boot partition and your system uh, partition just in case something goes wrong. Um, then, depending on how you installed it, uh, root, you're going to have to go ahead and uninstall it. Um, for me, I just use the official um, add-on on the Lineage OS website, so we're just going to head and remove it. And then we're going to go ahead and install Magisk. Alright, now this time we're going to go ahead and reboot. So it's a little while later, my phone battery actually ended up dying, which is the reason uh, my flash turned off. Uh, that the battery's too low to record, which is nice. So, um, anyways, we're back. It's a little, just a little while later. I uh, haven't touched the device since. And basically, what you're gonna have to do next is you're gonna go ahead and open Magisk Manager, which should be installed um, after uh, you install the twerp. Uh, I noticed that it was updated, so it just told me to go ahead and update it through the Play Store. And once you do that, you're going to notice that it fails the uh, safety net test. So all you have to do is enable it. So go into Settings and enable uh, Magix Hide. And we'll go ahead and try it again. And we should see a pass, as you can see. Alright, I uh, just installed Pokemon Go to uh, see if it... Uh, actually is working so let's allow our location sure you can do that no you cannot have access to my contacts and you can have access to the camera um i believe in sometime in september or something they uh introduced a uh, safety net or a uh, safety net check on pokemon go so you can cheat which in reality it just killed off a lot of the fan base since a lot of people had rooted phones um and weren't cheating so uh yeah it was, i don't think it was the best of decisions for them to do that but you know whatever anyways let's choose a date yeah sure that works and i'm gonna go ahead and log into my account real quick all right i just signed into my account and i uh haven't seen any pop-up saying that my phone is running an unsupported uh firmware or something which is what i got before um all right, um, it's, it hasn't given me a little pop-up saying that uh, I have a rooted phone or anything, and it looks like everything's working. Uh, let's see. Yeah, everything seems to be working. Uh, I haven't played this game since, like, September, so no clue how to play. As you can see, the last time I actually did play was in September of 2016, so it wasn't actually that far off. Um... Only reason I logged on was to see if um, my client, my older client that did not have the safety net check, was still working, which it was at the time. However, I think a couple weeks later, um, it just said that my client was outdated and I needed to update it in order to play. And when I updated it, it just said that my software was not supported. So, yeah. So, anyways, that was proof that um, my disk actually worked. Let's try to get over there, as you can see. And it can easily be sw switched off or on. Um, and I definitely recommend installing it, especially since uh, Google seems to be supporting this. Um, I don't know if you saw, but uh, Netflix no longer allows you to install it on the Play Store if you have a rooted device. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll uh, see you next weekend. If you fall to the steps and you're still experiencing issues, um, you can try turning off root access in developer settings. Because um, even if you flash the... Um, root disable um zip it will still be enabled in developer options so just turn that off and while i was editing the video and i figured i might as well show that netflix stats are being shown in the play store as you can see here um i search netflix and netflix is the first search result and i can go ahead and install it without any issues however if i get my um rooted device right here without magisk installed uh, you can see that Netflix is currently hidden. I also installed Pokemon Go, and Pokemon Go would um, not get past the loading screen.